Today, we're diving into the world of drones, specifically the C0-class and a restriction that's making waves among the drone community worldwide. As you may know, Class 0 drones have a specific requirement and one of the major constraints is the 120 meter height limitation. This limitation plays a significant role in shaping the drone experience for hobbyists and beginners alike. But before we explore the impact of this limit, let's understand the C0-class and its key specifications. Now, why is this limit so crucial? Well, the regulations for drones is evolving and many aviation authorities are imposing altitude restrictions to enhance safety and mitigate potential risks. The restriction is essentially in place to prevent interference with manned aircrafts, protecting the airspace from any accidents and just to ensure a responsible drone operation. So the C0 class label looks something like this and will be visible somewhere on your drone. The main requirements are the drone's weight not exceeding 250 grams during takeoff a maximum speed of 42 miles per hour and the crucial 120 meter height restriction above the drone's current position. Keep in mind that drone regulations can vary across regions, so always check the appropriate sources for your location. Spending your hard-earned cash on a drone comes with expectations of freedom in the air. However, this restriction poses questions about the quality of the footage and whether the drone's capabilities are worth the investment if it can't surpass this height. So how high is 120 meters and is it a deal breaker? To answer these questions, we'll take to the skies and showcase drone footage from various heights. We'll split this into two segments, one capturing a residential area and another capturing an open landscape. So starting with the residential area, we'll explore the footage going from 20 meters all the way up to 120 meters. As we ascend, notice how the footage quality evolves. I would say the sweet spot for capturing good footage with appropriate details is between 40 to 80 meters. From this height, whether it's a house, a building, a football field, you can capture what you need effectively. Now let's shift our focus to an open landscape. The footage from 20 to 120 meters showcases the unique perspective you can achieve compared to a residential area. The ideal height for the landscape photography falls in and around the 80 to 120 meter mark. High altitude needed here since you have a bigger area to cover, but all in all, the 120 meter height restriction seems sufficient enough to capture great footage whether you're in an open landscape or in a residential area. So as you saw, most of the captured footage falls within the 80 to 120 meter range, offering excellent balance between details and impressive results. Looking back at this, I was initially hesitant in buying this drone before I confirmed the limitation didn't actually apply to the UK. But now that I can see the type of footage I can capture with this height, 
it's changed my perspective completely. Of course, I would still prefer to have the freedom of flying higher if I need, but it feels good to know the limitation isn't really a limitation and not a deal breaker. That's all for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.